Indeed, all praise belongs to Allah. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon this final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters and viewers at home. So, just on the way to the studio, mm. I was listening to a talk show. And um, there was a Christian woman, she was talking about, um, it's not a Christian radio station, but right. it just happened to be talking about a particular subject. And she was talking about <clears throat> society, really, and from a from a uh, a Christian perspective, how they viewed that so many people really have gone away morally, so so far away from the their moral teachings, and that kind of uh, we have a similar viewpoint, if you like, as Muslims, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sets out for us morals standards. Uh, uh, ethics uh, to do with law, to do with interaction, to do with all matters in, in our lives. Mm. And that this kind of uh, guidance or set of rules, regulations, and that was given to us, albeit 1400 plus years ago, is something as relevant as it was then, as, as it should be now. Mm. Okay. Um, however, when we look at the stories in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the story of uh, Hud alayhi salam, Salih alayhi salam, Shu'aib alayhi salam and how their peoples or those particular nations they had different kind of uh, forms of misguidance whether it was cheating and deceiving and, and the buying and the selling or their arrogance or what power that they thought they had the simple message that was given to those people was the same message that you find in the Quran subhanallah However, that society had somewhat gone, gone astray and that that society was uh, trying to dictate or to determine that what was acceptable. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> in a time where, you know, there is lots of, of confusion as to what's correct and things like people have movements, like we want freedom of speech, okay, and that certain uh, ideologies represent freedom and certain ideologies represent oppression right all of this in this uh, if you like in this made uh, uh, in this arena all of these ideologies and peoples are kind of striving and struggling to be the one on top to be the superior one to say that we are the best and that they are the worst sure and I think it's very important for us to, as as Muslims that we recognize the beauty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us, the moral code that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us, the, the ethics, the dealings with people, it is absolutely, absolutely second to none. Mm -hmm. Meaning that there is nothing better than that. Right. And this is of course, without any doubt, because this is guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only best for His creation, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so can only be perfect. So we should feel really blessed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided us to this. And we ask Allah to allow us to remain firm on that. Allahumma ameen. Barakallahu feek, Shaykh.